Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak, Wadash, that will honor us unto the elders and apostles, that great millstone that taught us his truth and that rule well. Peace, love, and salutation unto the house of David, which consists of the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, and is the hopeful elect if you do the will of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, truthfully and sincerely. So, uh, this lesson, man, um, I was supposed to be getting. Uh, getting into Esau's wickedness, leading unto his judgment, you know, the different things that he does throughout the earth, um, you know, but the spirit swung a different way. And it says, and it says to get on these niggas that, um, you know, as it says here in Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter in the 14th verse, that they strengthen the hand of the evildoers. Okay. Now we know first and foremost, according to scripture, um, according to the book of Proverbs, that it says that Esau, the wicked, all right, it says that he sleep if not unless he causes some to fall. And here you have it, these different um these different Israelites that have some type of um high status or or, or good ranking in, in Babylon amongst the, <laughs> in Niggerville, all right, that people listen to, people follow. They have a voice, you see. And, and and it's I'm, I'm just gonna get straight into it. And Lord willing, this is an edifying video. And um, hey, just let let the spirit roll, man. This is the book of Jeremiah 23 and 14. It says, "I have also seen in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. Now, when first and foremost, they commit adultery. Now, that commit adultery is not <clears throat> not a physical form of committing adultery, but going back to Jeremiah the third chapter in the eighth verse." Where it says uh, the Most High gave Israel a bill of divorce because we committed adultery. We committed adultery by following other gods. Isaiah, th the 31st chapter, is uh, where it says that we took on a, a covering, another covering, but not the covering of the Most High. All right. We start following after different gods, you know, um, following different doctrines. And I'm saying we as the, the entire nation of Israel, man. That's why we're under this cur these curses to this day, because we transgressed against the heavenly father and his word, man. All right. And it says, um, and they walk in lies. They strengthen also in the hands of, hands of evildoers that none doth return from his wickedness. Now, <laughs> the most high, he has set up men uh, as it goes back into the book of Kings, I believe, where the most high had lying spirits and then he had the righteous spirits. All right which is the same uh, correlates to the same day and age because the most high has set up false prophets, you know, to, uh, um, you know, to do what they do. And he also set up able men, you know, men, um, that obey his word, the holy prophets. All right. They hit the highways and the hedges and, uh, um, counteract all the false doctrine that's out here, man. All these, all these deities that are out here, all this unrighteousness that's going on. <laughs> all right, the Most High. It says in the book of Ecclesiastes, the thirty-third chapter, the Most High had two and two. All right, he said, he said, uh, the sinners against the the godly, man. All right, but um, the authority, the so-called authority of these these niggas with Bibles or these niggas with authority, is is uh, on a massive scale because it pleases the ears of these niggas, man. OK, the book of uh, I believe the book of first John. Um, It says that uh, matter of fact, I'll just grab it, you know, because this word, first and foremost, hey, like the. um, uh, um Like the high, uh, I believe it's high price, uh, high priest, Yaquat, man, or elder Yaquat, man, as he said, if a nigga can't get it, we moving on, you know, which is why we don't uh, we don't stress out about these niggas not understanding it. But um, it has to be addressed, man. Okay. So let me get this here. So I get phones doing some. All right. All right. This is the book of uh, Salaki. Not First John, but St. John. All right. This is um, St. John, chapter 15 and verse 18. It says, if the world hate you, know, uh, you know that it hated me before it hated you. 
All right, which is talking about the holy prophets, man. All right, the things that we teach, uh, we teach uh, with authority through the power of Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. We follow after ex after the example of the um, of Yahweh Shai, man, of the Savior. All right, it says, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. Yeah, it says, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. You see, and that's the same with the um. Matter of fact, that that is what I wanted to get, but there's another another scripture, all right. In the book of um, I believe it's the book of First John, the second chapter. You know, pretty much roughly paraphrasing, saying that um the world. Matter of fact, um, because I don't want to slaughter it, man. This is the book of First John. Um, uh, yeah, kind of, this is the book of first John chapter four and, uh, verse five, it says they are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world and the world heareth them. We are of the most high. He that knoweth the most high heareth us. You see? So like I said, these these niggas with Bibles or these these Israelites with different uh with with some type of authority in Babylon, they are heard because like I like I said, it's uh, it, um it pleases the ears of these two third niggas, man. Isaiah the thirtieth chapter, where it says that they love to hear smooth words speaking to us uh, um speaking to us lies, not the truth. All right? And they and, and it goes back to the book of Jeremiah, the twenty third chapter and the fourteenth verse. It says, "Where they strengthen the hands of the evil doers, that none doth turn from his wickedness." Okay, why? Because you're speaking things of the world, and people love to hear the things of the world, things that that fits um, their way of living, man. All right, we we don't come to speak the wisdom of this world, man. We speak the wisdom of Yahweh Bashem as it says in the scriptures in a mystery. In first John the fourth chapter, it says, um, they are of the world, uh, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. We are the most high. He that knoweth the most high heareth us. He that is not of the most high heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. All right. So the most high have set up uh set us up throughout the four corners of the earth to counteract all this bullshit that's going on man all right he has, he have chosen the the base things of the world to confound the things that are wise because in the eyes of these two thirds in the rest of the world the things that these uh, um niggas will bible speak these pastors you know these uh these en entertainers the things that these they speak unto the world they're wise all right unto the men who have some type of knowledge who know who, who who knows right from wrong, and who knows was just straight up wicked by by way of reading the scriptures. All right, we're against it, man. We speak against it, man. All right. So going back in here in Jeremiah the twenty third chapter, it says they strengthen also the hands of evil doers that none doth return from his wickedness. All right, so they pretty much putting fuel on the fire. You know, they're influencing them to do an evil act. You know, as I said in the book of Jeremiah. It says that they um surpass the deeds of the wicked, man. And the wicked is who? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man today. All right? It says, They are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah, which was destroyed by fire and brimstone, man. For first and foremost, they they were not God-fearing, man. They didn't follow the law, statutes, and the commandments. And on top of that, they were heavy into homosexuality, lesbianism, you know, and I'm pretty sure you did have some some men around that time trying to be women, vice versa. All right. Which is the same way this world is now, man. You see a bunch of um, uh, pedophiles, which mainly is Esau, man. A bunch of uh, fucking ped pedophiles, predators having all types of uh, um, having terabytes of child pornography. You see, you have all types of homosexual uh, homosexuals, lesbians, transgenders. All right, you got all this going on. So you don't think that this place, you don't think that history repeats itself, man. You don't think that during the same time uh, um, as Sodom and Gomorrah, you don't, like, you, you have, you had prophets back then, man. 
You know, Noah was a prophet. You know, he, they, they, we, we've been teaching that the prophets have been out here since the days of Noah, man. As the book of uh, Matthew says, says for since the days of Noah. Matter of fact, I'll just grab it. You know, Matthew, the 24th chapter. And it says. Um, was it 24 and 30? 32. Or no, Slakia, yeah, 30, um, 36. It says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the son of uh, coming of the son of man be. For as in the days that were before, uh, before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came. It took them all away. So that, that's the same the same times we're living in. But the, you no, know, the Lord, he made a covenant that he wasn't going to flood the earth with water. He wasn't going to destroy the earth with water, man. Now it's going to be a cleansing agent by the way of fire and brimstone, man. All right. As in the days of Noah were, so, uh, so should it be in these days, man. It says, um, what it says, and they knew, it says, and they knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So the second coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, He's going to clean up. He's going to clean this place up, man. All right. The fire and brimstone is going to going to uh, um, be the cleansing agent, and then Yahweh. Guess what? Yahweh Shai in the midst with the angels, they're going to be destroying this place. All right. So all all the people who teach. <laughs> You know, who, who teach uh, um, anything contrary to the scriptures. You know, it's a hey, the scriptures tell us to uh, continue on the things that we have learned, man. All right. Not to be teaching niggas how how um you know how they can get more money back on a tax tax refund or, you know, not, not teaching the kids, teaching these these young girls to you know to shake their ass on camera, man. Or telling these niggas to put the guns down, and stop gang banging. A lot of these niggas, they influence it, man. All right. They influence all. They influence homosexuality. Let let by saying let people be who they are. You know, everybody can love how they want to love. You know, <clears throat> that's not turning people away from their evil deeds, man. You know, and the Most High is gonna deal with the men who um, you know who who further that process. Okay, so that's pretty much all I want to touch on, man. Is because as these times are getting heavier and heavier, you know. Jake is falling deeper into a sleep, you know. And all this is the willy how about shy. So it's it's not a um a thing we should get mad about, but it's definitely something that has to be addressed. If you're a man man or of the Lord, man, you have to address these things. It says mark those that cause division with uh, contrary to the doctrine and and avoid them. All right. So hey, with that being said, Lord willing, this was an edifying video. You know, Lord willing, I'll come back and do another one, you know, if the spirit permits it. Until then, I'll say all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash, double honors to our apostles and elders at GMS. Peace, love, and salutation unto the house of David, the hopeful elect, if you're doing the will of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, truth and sincerity. That being said, I'm going to say, call Allah, Allah, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Shalom.